ハレルヤ。Praise the Lord.God is good and all the time. Praise the Lord. ハレルヤ。Please help me celebrate and encourage the worship team. Amen. Amen. And help me also celebrate and encourage every worker in this house. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Without what you do, We would not be called the church that we are. So thank you, every worker. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are still continuing in the season of the new. Praise God.、Uh, time seems、uh, seem to be spinning very fast. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are in mid May already. Praise God. Hallelujah. Time is spinning. Praise God. Amen. Last week we started a journey of the new. Praise God. And we started off by looking at、uh, that one of the things that the Lord does in doing a new thing. Or doing something new, praise God, is the gift of time. Praise God. The gift of what? The gift of time, praise God. And only God can do that. Only God can do what? Only God can do that, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. When He was determined to deliver, Israel out of Egypt, praise God. Quota to the, the deliverance. He said to them that this month, praise God, shall be the beginning of what? The beginning of months, praise God. Forget what the calendar says, praise God. Your beginning starts now. Hallelujah. You will start again. You will start afresh in the name of the Lord Jesus. They think they have surpassed you. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord will grant you speed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will overtake them. You will pursue, you will overtake them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. When、uh, the Bible says in、uh, Jeremiah 12 and verse number 5. That if you have wrestled with men on foot and they've wearied you, how will you wrestle with men on horses? Praise God. To me, that means that it is also very much possible that you can wrestle against men on horses and you overtake them by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. If you want to look for evidence, go talk to Brother Elijah. Praise God. All he did is to guard up his what? Praise God. And he ran faster than what? Faster than the chariots. Praise God. Hallelujah. All you need is time. And the Lord gives time. Praise God. When Hezekiah thought that he was very old, praise God. And he cried out to the God that had said to him, that Prepare your house, put it in order, because today is your end. Hallelujah. What, God, what did God do to him? God gave him more time. I have added 15 what? 15 more years. Praise God. God gave him more what? God gave him more time. Praise God. He gave him more time. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Ephesians, we read chapter 5 and verse 15 and 16. We read last week. Praise God. You know,、uh, that, you know,、uh, 
we should not. Please project it. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15 and 16. See that you walk what? Circumspectly. Not as what? Not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the what? Redeeming the time because the days are what? The days are evil. Praise God. You know, we say that time, praise God, will not have been an issue if it's not, you know, but the events that happen within a what? The course of, the course of time. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, find a culture, praise God, amen, that believe that the firstborn gets married first and is not permitted f- you know, for the last born to get married until the last born, until the first born what? Gets married, praise God. Hallelujah. So even if a man or a woman appears, praise God, they will not, the parents will not allow their child to get married until the first one what? The first goes, praise God. So there is an evil in the past that has held some people back, praise God. Cultures, traditions of men, Praise God. And the clock is what? The clock is ticking. Praise God. You know, and then you find a culture that believes that you must always have a child to look after you at home in your old age. That means that, you know, the child that, bef- that becomes the victim, they will never what? They will never leave home. Praise God. They will never what? They will never leave home because they believe that that child must stay and what? And look after, the, after, after them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, so time is not an issue, but the events that have happened over time. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I pray that may the Lord heal our past in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Imagine somebody that comes from a polygamous family or a family of 12, 15. Praise God. And then they decide that some children will go to school and some will not. Praise God. What kind of future, praise God, will be left for the children that have been relegated to not going to what? To school. Praise God. Hallelujah. I itself is not what? Is not the issue, but the events that happen what? In the course of time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord really heal our what? Our past experiences in the name of of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Time equals to opportunity. Praise God. Amen. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse number 11. Bible say that the race is not the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. Praise God. Time and chance happen to them all. Praise God. Time equals to what? To opportunities. Praise God. Really, in reality, it seems like some people have, their opportunities have been what? Have been taken away from them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God, I pray in the name of Jesus that every opportunity that have been taken away from you, may the Lord restore it to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord restore it to you. In the name of Jesus. So when we see Joel chapter 2 verse 25, God said, I'll restore the years that have been taken away from you. It's God restoring every missed opportunities in the name of the Lord Jesus. You see the young David was kept, praise God, was kept to look after what? Animal, praise God. When the brothers were doing prestigious what? Job working for the king of or the king of Israel. Praise God. And even the brothers told him, What are you doing here? What is happening to your ma- to your what? To your father's animals that you should be looking after. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know you are not qualified for this, praise God, until God came to his deliverance. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. May the Lord redeem time for you. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord restore your opportunities. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May the Lord restore all your losses. The book of Job 42 verse number 10. The Bible says that God restored double of, for Job's losses. Hallelujah. Job lost. He lost children. He lost wealth. Praise God. He also lost time. Hallelujah. But the Lord restored double. He had more children and he had more wealth and he had more years of life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And verse number 12 of that Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Praise God. We appreciate the bitter side of time that which is not put to good use. For man also does not, his, does not know what? His time. Like fish taken in a cruel what? Net. Like birds caught in a snare. So the sons of men are what? Are snared in an evil time when it falls suddenly on them. That will not be your portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Time equals to what? Opportunities. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When somebody steals your time, he steals your opportunities. Praise God. But I pray in the name of Jesus. There is a redeemer of time. There is a restorer of time. Every time an opportunity has been stolen from you, may the Lord restore it to you. 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 When they say it's too late, May the Lord restart your clock. In the name of Jesus. It was too late for Abraham and Sarah to have a child. Praise God. At age 100, Abraham had a son. At the age of over 90, Sarah, who was called barren, had her child. Praise the Lord. It's not too late for you. It's not too late. Praise God. The second thing we appreciate about time is that there is an appointed time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse number 1. To everything there is a season. A time for every purpose under heaven. Compare that with Genesis chapter 18, verse 13 to 14. And the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh? Saying, Shall I surely bear a child since I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I'll return to you according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. There is an appointed time. Please do not fret. Do not what? Do not fret. Praise God. Do not what? Do not fret. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For somebody who is going to live 150 years, praise God. Amen. If you have not made it at age 50, praise God, there is time. There is what? Mm. There is what? There is time. I mean, we're talking about God, the creator of what? Create of time. Praise God. We're talking about God, the creator of time. Praise God. 
Some people are rushed, praise God, because of cultural pressure. Amen? In our culture, every young lady gets married by age 25. You are age 30, you think time is what? Gone. Praise God. When you still have a hundred years to live, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is an appointed what? An appointed time. Praise God. There is what? An appointed time. Praise God. Last week we say that you need to trust God and he's saving what? He has a plan for you. Praise God. And in his plan, is an appointed what? An appointed time. An appointed time. Praise God. An appointed time. Praise God. An appointed time. Hallelujah. Praise God. Error happens when people decide to leave relationship with God. Hallelujah. Then you are secluding yourself out of the timeline of God. Hello? Praise God. I have been following this God too long. Praise God. Now I'm giving up. I'm going to live what? My own life. Praise God. You are taking yourself out of what? Out of the timeline. Praise God. Hallelujah. Where I come from, you can jump queue. Amen? Especially if you are tall and bored, what? Chested. Amen? And you have bodyguards. Praise God. Amen? In the UK here, you go back and what? And queue. You jump queue, you go back and what? And queue. Praise God. Amen? You know, so hang in there, my brother, my sister. Hang in there. Don't take yourself out of the timeline of what? Of God. Praise God. Don't take yourself out of what? The timeline of God. Praise God. You and I have need for what? Endurance. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. One other thing, number three, to appreciate about time is that there is a fullness of time to every waiting. To every waiting, there is a what? There is a fullness of time. Praise God. Galatians chapter 4, verse 1 to 5. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is a master of all, but is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the father. But when the fullness of, of the time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as what? As sons. Praise God. There is a what? There's a fullness of time. Praise God. There's a what? There's fullness of time. Praise God. The book of Exodus chapter 15 and verse number 16. Praise God. 15 and verse number 16. Hallelujah. You know, uh, no, Genesis, sorry, 15 and verse number 16. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Genesis 15. But in the fourth generation, they shall return here, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet what? Is not yet complete. Praise God. There is a measure of time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes you might be going through what you are going through. Praise God. Because God has apportioned what? An expiry time for it. Praise God. When the time has expired, you will explode forth. In the name of Jesus. You will break forth. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There is a what? There's a fullness of what? A fullness of time to every waiting. Praise God. Amen. To every waiting, there's a what? There's a fullness of time. Praise God. 
you might be saying that I have waited what? Long enough. Praise God. You might be saying that I cannot wait anymore when God requires you to what? To wait. Praise God. Amen. When God requires you to wait. Praise God. Amen. You study the life of David. Praise God. David was a waiter. He was a what? He was, wait he was a waiter. Praise God. Amen. Psalms chapter 40 and verse number 1 and 2. Amen. I waited patiently on the Lord. Finish it for me. And he inclined what? And heard my cry number two. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon the rock and established my what? My steps. Look at all those benefits. All for what? All for waiting. And not just waiting, waiting patiently. Some people wait by the amount of words that they will say in the waiting. Eh? The amounts of complaint. Praise God. Even in their prayer, God, how comes you answer everyone else but me? Praise God. Amen. Waited patiently. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, somebody else waited and they encouraged themselves saying, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Waiting patiently on the, on, uh, on the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Psalms 73 and verse 25 and 26. Psalm 73, verse 25 and 26. Whom have I what? In heaven but you. There is none upon the earth that I desire besides you. 26. You know, my flesh and my heart what? Fail. But God is the strength of my what? On my heart and my portion forever. Praise God. In the waiting, you need to find a way of encouraging yourself to what? To keep waiting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Because in the waiting, the Lord still sustains you. The Lord still keeps you. The Lord still provides for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord still keeps you going. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord still keeps you going. Praise God. Amen. Number four quickly. Amen. To appreciate about time. That there is a shortening of time or breaking of protocol. Praise God. Amen. The book of Matthew 24, 23. Matthew 24, 23. Praise God. 24, 23, the book of Matthew. Praise God. The Bible says that then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ or there. Is that 24, 23? Okay, the verse I'm looking for, oh, 22, sorry, 22. Praise God, amen. Verse 22, amen. And unless those days were what? Shortened, no flesh will be what? Will be saved for the elect. For the elect's sake, those days will be what? Will be shortened, praise God. Now, this verse talks about the coming what? Tribulation, terrible tribulation. Praise God. Scripture says that in those days there will be so much pain and suffering. Amen. Gnashing of teeth. Praise God. Amen. That even God will not bear his people going through what? Going through that pain. Praise God. That he will decide that the tribulation must be what? Must be shortened. Praise God. Amen. Now, the fullness of Scripture says that tribulation is meant to last seven what? Seven years. Praise God. And that has been shortened to 42 weeks. Praise God, which is three and a half years. Praise God. Hallelujah. So God will break protocol for somebody. The book of John chapter 2 and verse number 4. John chapter 2 and verse number 4. Praise God. We know the story about the wedding at Cana. Praise God. 
Amen. It was not time for Jesus to perform any miracles yet. Praise God. Woman, and may Jesus say to, to her, the mother, woman, what does your concern have to do with what? With me. My hour has not what? My hour has not come. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. But did he go ahead and give them wine? Yes. He gave them what? He gave them wine. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will break protocol for you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will qualify you where you are not qualified. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord will qualify you where you are not qualified. His grace will speak for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You see from ancient time God has come doing new things. Praise God. We see again in Genesis 21 verse 1 to 6. We will not read it. Praise God. God did a new thing by giving Abraham a son at age 100. This is not recorded anywhere else. Praise God. That anyone has ever had a child at age what? Age 100, praise God. Not in times before Abraham, not even in my day today, unless somebody has had anyone here. Hello? Praise God. Amen. An age over 90, Sarah having a what? A child, praise God. In Exodus chapter 14, verse 21 and 22, praise God. Amen. God did a new thing. Praise God. He made a way in the Red Sea. Praise God. That Israel crossed through the Red Sea on dry what? On dry ground. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. God can do a new thing in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. God will do the impossible, the unimaginable in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. In the book of Joshua, I thought I would throw this in. Praise God. Joshua chapter 10 and verse number 12 and 13. Praise God. Read it with me. Joshua chapter 10 verse 12 uh, to 13. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bible said then, uh, Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. It seems we are racing faster than media today. Praise God. Amen. Now that is the wrong verse, but anyway, Joshua chapter 10, verse 12 to 13. Praise God. You know, then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand still over what? Over Gibeon, moon in the valley of Aijalon. Verse 13, so the sun stood and the moon stopped till the people had revenged upon their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Jasha? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and did not hasten to go down for about a whole day. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord extend time for you. May the Lord extend time for you. May the Lord extend life for you. May the Lord extend day for you. May the Lord extend rest for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord give you time. When they say there is no more time, may the Lord give you time. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord give you time. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord give you time. When the doctor said you have three weeks, may the Lord translate it to 50 years. In the name of the Lord Jesus, when they say it cannot be done in this time, may the Lord do it for you in record time. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We haven't started yet. Praise God. Amen. Whew. Can you see why you should be excited? Praise God. Jeremiah 33, 3. Call unto me and I will show you Great and mighty things that you don't know about. Praise God. Somebody here, God is 
about to take you on an adventurous journey. A journey of a new thing. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You will apply for a job. And they will call you for a chat. And they will tell you the interview is over. You've got the job. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. This is not exhaustive. Keys to unlock the new. It's not exhaustive in any way. Praise God. But somebody needs to hear this. Praise God. Number one, understand your time. Amen. Understand your what? Understand your time. Praise God. The book of 1 Chronicles 12, 32. Praise God. Talks about the sons of Issachar. Who had understanding of what? Who had understanding of time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Brothers and sisters know that not, know for sure that not every time is your time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Not every time is your what? Is your time. Understand your what? Understand your time. Praise God. It's required that you are spiritually sensitive to understand what time is yours to move and do what? And move. Praise God. Understand what? Understand your time. Praise God. And this time can only be understood by the Spirit. Amen? It can only be understood by the Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen? Let me tell you something. I've been in the UK for just over 20 years. Praise God. Hallelujah. I wasted a lot of money investing in Africa. Praise God. Amen? And every investment, amen, amounted to nothing. I wasted what? Money and time. Praise God. Amen? Now that is my story. I'm sure you have your own. Praise God. Hallelujah. Without being sensitive to understand your time, praise God, there's a lot of wastage. There's a what? There's a lot of Wastage. Praise God. Wastage of time, wasted of money. Praise God. And wastage of opportunities. Praise God. Amen. When I came, there were students that came and they were able to buy properties like that. The law had not what? Constrained them. Praise God. By the time they finished their degree, they also had what? A property business. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Understand your time. Be spiritually sensitive. Hallelujah. To the leading of the spirit. Praise God. Amen. The Bible compares the spirit to the move of the wind. Praise God. No one sees the wind. Praise God. Whether it's going east or west. Praise God. But you do feel it's what? impact. That's why we say the wind is going that way. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So that means inevitably understanding your time, praise God. Amen. Is understanding your God. Is understanding your what? Understanding your God. Praise God. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 24. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. The Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse number 24. Praise God. The Bible says that he that wants to glory, let him glory in this. Praise God. But let him who wants to glory, glory what? In this. That he understands and knows who? Who? Knows who? Knows God. Praise God. If you understand and know your God, praise God. No time will take you by surprise. Nothing will take you by surprise. You will not miss your opportunities. You will not miss your time. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Number two, quickly. Amen. Number two. Amen. You do the new thing. You do what? You do the new thing. 
Praise God. Amen. John chapter 10, verse 34 to 36. Praise God. Jesus, praise God, was arguing, um, uh, uh, arguing with the religious people of the time. Praise God. And he tells them that the very scripture, this is what the very scripture tells you. Praise God. John chapter 10 and verse 34 to 36. John chapter 4. Praise God. Chapter 10, sorry. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your what? In your law? Praise God. I said you are what? You are God's carry on. 35. You know, if he called them God's, to whom the word of God came, and the scriptures cannot be what? Cannot be broken, carry on. You know, do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said I am the Son of God? Praise God. The scripture says you are what? You are God. Praise God. I tell you in my language, the other name for God is Omutonzi, which means creator. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's a lot of believers who are sitting around waiting for God to do a new thing. When God has empowered you to do a new thing, to be creative. Hallelujah. To be what? To be creative. Praise God. To be creative. Praise God. To keep going, not to settle yet. Praise God. To challenge your creative self. Praise God. Amen. To challenge your what? You're creating self. You do what? Do a new thing. Praise God. Hallelujah. You do a new thing. Praise God. It might mean that you begin to challenge yourself. Praise God. Hallelujah. To challenge yourself. What new thing do I need to create? Praise God. Some of you, praise God, as students, some of you have just graduated. Praise God. Some of you have just been empowered. Praise God by the best uh, institutes there is in the world. Praise God. Now go out and do what? Do a new thing. Praise God. Because God has what? God has empowered you. Praise God. God has what? God has empowered you. Praise God. If you sit around, praise God. Amen. Second Kings chapter 7 talks about the lepers. Praise God. That were starving. Praise God. Hallelujah. They were starving. And they say that if we sit here, we will what? We will die. Praise God. Amen. Amen. If we sit here, we will die. If we go into the city, we will also what? We will still die. Praise God. So if, if there is death on both directions, praise God. Hallelujah. There is no, not easier benefit sitting here. Praise God. Because even here, death will what? Death will come and catch us. Please get moving. Praise God. And when they got moving, hallelujah, the Lord caused the sound to come and threaten. Praise God. The invading army. Praise God. Unless God has set you up. For a blessing and a breakthrough. Praise God. Which enemy comes to fight against you carrying gold and silver, bread and honey? Hallelujah. Please, I want some of those, my, those enemies my way. Praise God. And when God caused the sound, praise God, they ran away. They left everything for what? For the lepers. That day, the lepers fed the city. Praise God. Hallelujah. They fed the city. Praise God. Be what? You do what? Do a new thing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I like what he said in Acts chapter 17 and verse 21. Praise God. That the Athenians, they spent their time talking about new what? New things. New ideas. Actually, Praise God. If you read it in TPT, which is the Passion Translation, say they spend their time discussing new ideas and philosophies. Praise God. Hallelujah. When some folks I know, all they do is to discuss the latest movie. Praise God. The latest what? The latest Nollywood. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. All Athenians and foreigners visiting use the time to what? Be talking about new things. Praise the Lord. Amen. Number three, quickly. Amen. Indulge the power of thinking. Indulge the power of what? The power of thinking. Praise God. The book of Genesis 24, verse 62 and 63. Praise God. Amen. Some of us, what has failed us to do anything new? Praise God. Because we just seem to have no time for anything. Praise God. Amen. When you have to make the time to think, praise God. Genesis 24, 62 to 63. Praise God. Make time to what? To think. You know, do you know that some organizations that are doing well, they employ what? Thinkers. People to think. Praise God. Ruby, you remember my conversation with you. Yeah? Please, I am waiting for the new thing. Praise God. There is so much resource in you. Hallelujah. Do something new. Praise God. Now Isaac came from the way of Beahai Rohi. For he dwelt in the what? In the south. 63. Praise God. And Isaac went out to what? To meditate in the field. Meditate is to what? Think. Praise God. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul shall shout hallelujah. Amen. You see, another writer wrote a song that never made it to people's knowledge. Praise God. Amen. It says, When I think back over my life And I think things over I can truly say I've been blessed I've got a testimony Praise God. Indulge the power of what? Thinking. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you what, praise God. I have never cherished the time to think like in these days of my life. Praise God. I tell you what, I come to church and I enjoy my own company with my God. Praise God. I have opportunity to what? To think. I have opportunity to meditate. I have opportunity to what? To pray. Indulge the power of what? Of thinking. Praise God. Some people, they are surrounded with so much noise. Somebody say noise. Ooh. Bombardment. Praise God. That even if you had a good thing coming up in your spirit, praise God, it cannot surface. Praise God. Because every time it tries to get the head out. Amen. Somebody's next big thing squashes it down. Praise God. Hallelujah. Indulge the power of thinking. Number four, quickly. Amen. Uptake or take up new skills and expertise. Take up new what? New skills and expertise. Praise God. If you will do as you've always done, you will always do as you have always what? Done. Where is the new? Praise God. Where is the what? Where is the new? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Take up new what? New skills. Praise God. Psalm 78 verse 70 to 72. Praise God. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. Amen. David must have been a hungry man for the new. Praise God. Hallelujah. He must have been a what? A very hungry man for what? For the new. That God would use him for new things every day. Praise God. Amen. 
Look at why the God chose David, at least the scripture says. That God also what? Chose David, his what? His servant. He took him from the what? From the sheepfolds. Verse 71. You know, from following the what? The Ewes that had young. He brought him to shepherd what? Jacob, his people, and Israel, his what? Inheritance. 72. Praise God. So he shepherded them according to what? To the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Where did he get the skills? Is it after becoming a king? No. Praise God. So we, if we are going to do a new thing and see a new thing, praise God, we may have to take up a new what? A new skill. A new expertise. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, time is no what? Time is no issue. We have the giver of time, the redeemer of time, the restorer of time on our side. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number five, second to the end. Praise God. Amen. Get into the right network. Get into the what? The right network. Praise God. Your network determines your what? Your net worth. Praise God. Hallelujah. You see, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse number 33. Praise God. There are some people around us that only corrupt good character. Praise God. That would only corrupt us that we are not embraceable for the next level of our what? Of our progress. Praise God. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts what? Good heart, good habit. Sometimes, praise God, it's okay to change your what? To change your company. Hello? Sometimes it's okay to do what? To change your company. To change your hangouts. Praise God. Sometimes it's okay to change your what? Your hangouts. Praise God. There are some jobs that we do that gets you into a tunnel mind. Praise God. That you cannot think outside of the what? Outside of the box. Praise God. And you have to get, some, get out of some jobs that, that look that way. Praise God. Hallelujah. Some people look for who is bondaging them. Praise God. Amen. And the answer is they walked in themselves. They kept, him, they kept themselves there by themselves. Praise God. And all they need to do is to what? Walk out. Somebody say walk out. Praise God. Get into the right what? Network. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you want to become a lawyer? Amen. Begin to associate with lawyers. It's only a matter of what? It's only a matter of time. Praise God. Do you want to become a doctor? Praise God. Begin to associate with them. Birds of the same feathers. Do what? They flock together. Praise God. Lastly, praise God, seek counsel. Proverbs eleven twenty four. Lastly, seek what? Seek counsel. Seek advice. Praise God. No man is what? An island. Praise God. Proverbs eleven twenty four. Praise God. No man is an island. There is no. Uh, there is one who what? Who scatters. That's not it. Praise God. All right, let's leave. So Proverbs 19, verse 20 and 21. Praise God. Amen. The verse I was looking at, in the multitude of counsel, there is what? There is safety. In the multitude of counsel, maybe somebody can quote it for me. Can tell me what that. In the multitude of counsel, there is what? There is safety. Listen to what? Listen to counsel and receive what? Instruction. That you may be what? You may be wise in your later days. Praise God.